1891. That's when a Missoula teenager vanished after using a payphone at a gas station in Deming, New Mexico to talk to her mother. Fast forward to 2021. On April 4th, Jennifer Pintala would have turned 48. And now, on this 30th anniversary of her disappearance, Montana author Brian D'Ambrosio dives into the case. He just got back from New Mexico, where he retraced her footsteps. In this Spotlight Montana, he shares with us what he discovered and hopes officials will take another look at this case. You just got back from New Mexico. Your findings were just published in an article in the Montana Press. Great article. Fascinating to read through that. Uh, first, describe to me what Jennifer was like. Well, I think Jennifer Pantella would be the, the perfect child. And the perfect, uh, but we do know that she did go into that gas station. She had a, a short interaction or encounter with the clerk. And then, depending on his version of events, um, has her going back, um, heading back west uh, on her bicycle, perhaps going to a travel agency to get a map or some other information. But she is, uh, in essence, uh, you know, vanished. And, and, vanished uh, uh, and she's been gone for a long time, or she hasn't been seen in, in more than 30 years. So you just got back, as we mentioned, retracing her steps what new information did you find? When you say yeah, yeah, new information, I guess um, uh, at least some information that hadn't been been public. There, there have been, been, been multiple um, you know sightings, and, and and we know that for for many cases and many similar situations, that eyewitness accounts and eyewitness testimony you know, can be very faulty and can be very shaky. Um, it, it it seems like. There, there have been a number of people who claim they have seen Jennifer in a variety of different places. And, and I think as far as you know, my knowledge of, of, of examining what, you know, law enforcement documents and talking with officers involved in the case, that, that, those, that those sightings um, uh, appear to be you know, erroneous or, or, or mistaken. Um, but there has been you know, a person of interest designated in this case, and, and that would be the, the last person to see her alive, who was the who was the gas station attendant in Deming, New Mexico, at that time. Um, after releasing a lot of this new information about the prime suspect, I think it, it's um, well, it's not irrefutable. I, I think it lays out a case um, to reason to to reasonably re open the case and, and, and investigate this person. And I think it also um, the story. Um, the road gives the reader a, um, a reasonable suspicion as to where my thoughts lie on this case, too. And, and sadly, that would be that this would be a, a cold case, an abduction and a, and a murder. And again, the article was just published in the Montana Press. Uh, just uh, fascinating, a really great article uh, to get out there. Uh, and you have researched so many unsolved cases and murders. You have a book out right now, and we're going to talk about that in another podcast. Once